I'm on my way to the Chino Airport right now to go pick up my helicopter. Good pan, sweetie. Yay. So my helicopter's been with my friends at Creative Rotocraft Maintenance for the last couple of months now, and that seems like a long time, but this was a really big annual inspection. There's the inspection, and then they also did some big maintenance. In fact, uh, we'll talk to Jose, my mechanic, and uh, see all the stuff that they did. With luck, I'll have a much better helicopter than when I dropped it off. Oh, and if you'd like to support the channel, Flying Eyes Sunglasses, which are easier to put on with two hands, but still works. Yeah. Link in the description below, save 10%. You can do this. Look at that. I'm How YouTubing you. you. Waving, Good. bumping. <laughs> How's it going? Ready for a flight test. Hey, Jose, what did you do to my helicopter? Want well, to show me? Relocate your transponder antenna from what? the. What'd you do that? I was hearing crackling, so when I relocated it, it was under your seat. Rerouted our cable from there to. Hey! When I did that, the crackling went away. No crackling, oh my god. Well, we, we still got a test flight. <laughs> we still got a test flight, all right. No crackling <laughs> on ground. <laughs> so, what do you got? I right, will show you the leak. It's behind this engine mount, way okay. back in there. Yeah. It's hard to see, but let's go strip it down. Gotcha. Although I would say that is the cleanest that the belly has ever looked as long as I've owned the uh, helicopter. The yeah, everything looks as clean as possible. So there's like one tiny little leak uh, left in there that we'll get uh, next time that's just really impossible to get, but that looks incredible. Also, I'm going to note that uh, the thing that CRM does that blows my mind is uh, whenever I get the helicopter, they fix things I didn't ask them to fix. The uh, skids, they painted them black because uh, the grip tape was getting all janky looking. So. Good job, CRM. So, show me what all you did. Well, first and foremost, came in here for a 100-hour annual. Uh, replaced the main rotor gearbox, so we pulled the blades apart, pulled the hub apart. Found a little bit of corrosion on the push-pull tubes, the vertical push-pull tubes, so we ended up replacing some rivets okay. that attached to the uh, bottom of the swash blade. I'm not sure if you can look in there, but... There we are. Uh, we serviced the uh, overrunning clutch, greased all the greasing points. Tore rotor dry shaft got greased all the way around. Tore rotor gearbox got reserviced. Uh, we did main and rotor track and balance. She is the smoothest Enstrom. Is that true? You can ever fly. I'll be the judge of that. All right. <laughs> Remove the fuel tanks, reinstall the fuel tanks, uh, just clean everything up, put a bunch of new hardware on the main rotor and the swash blade down at the bottom portion of it. The blades got removed, they got inspected, they got lubed with uh, ACF 50, which helped prevent for corrosion purposes. Nice. The blades do look good. <laughs> Helicopter got detailed, got washed inside and out. Probably the cleanest it's ever been. <laughs> As my son said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he knows the owner. It really does look good. Everything you do when you fly is framed by confidence in the equipment. I've had times where I've flown where I don't feel confident in the equipment. Every time I come here to CRM, you guys always make the helicopter better, and then uh, you can feel it when you fly. And then you know that the gear is going is as buttoned down, bolted up, and you guys have gone over everything. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate that. All right, check, check. Yeah, sounds good. Amen. Doing the uh, test flight on camera is what we call a helicopter trust fall. <laughs> <laughs> this shows real confidence in your work. Oh, thank you. No, we're good. This is the fun moment. By the way, even just like right here, it feels good. It just feels like smooth. Real quick while we're uh, running up here, how long you been working on helicopters? <laughs> uh, 16 years now. 16 years, how to you get started? This is last day of high school. I think we had like a week going. It was last week and I was going to go to a trade school to work on cars. Yeah. So a guy came up and like, hey, why don't you just join aviation trade school? You can make a lot of money. And it wasn't true after I graduated uh -huh. until now, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it took about 16 years to actually pay it off. But yeah, I love what I do. Yeah, I got a passion for it. So all I do was private customers. I don't deal with flight schools and stuff like that. So yeah, when they come pick up their helicopter and it's clean and they're like, holy it's clean. <laughs> okay, oh, so I'm not the only one. <laughs> on the inside of the oil cap, they, they cleaned off the rust. And it's like, why did you guys do that? And it's like, well, just because that's how it's supposed to be. So uh, the helicopter's gone for a couple of months, and one of the reasons why was because they changed the main rotor gearbox, which is an involved process. And, you know, things had to be shipped out from Michigan, and every time you need like a damn bolt, it's like, got to ship it out. And there's just all this stuff, and it's just a really long process. That's just the nature of aviation. Uh, the good news is that, uh, unlike maybe uh, uh, previous mechanical experiences I had with a helicopter, when I come to CRM, 
the problems are fixed and then some. So uh, I'm really setting you guys up because it's like if this helicopter <laughs> isn't so smooth when I pick it up, it's going to be such a disappointment. <laughs> All right, watch his face. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Watch my face. See what happens. <laughs> Well, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that feels nice. That feels really nice, right? Yeah, that's good. So be a helicopter landing conductor. Run my way. Jose, you're a miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this feels great. It feels really good. <laughs> ah, man. So what, what I'm looking for is like cyclic bounce and uh, and a vertical bounce with flying and there's like uh, like nothing. I'm gonna get going fast on the uh, on the downwind here. Yep, let's take it up to 100. Uh, oh yes, left. Hook up there, 285, uh, landing base tower, moving on risk, wind 240 at 11, altimeter 290. Landing at the uh, base of tower at risk, 285. Yeah, so like there's no big bounce, there's no big bumping or anything like that. The uh, collective, by the way, does feel like there's less effort to, uh, to get it doing its thing. The helicopter feels really good, Jose. Oh man, this is going to be fun. Smooth as yeah? Yeah, yeah, this is really good. So my helicopter is finally back in the air and it flies crazy smooth. Who knows how fast I'll fly now, hooray! Uh, if there's anywhere you guys think I should go fly, you let me know. In fact, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of flying around LA, uh, up to Malibu, it's gonna be a good time. <sighs> All's right in the world.